Good morning, another beautiful day in God's kingdom. Somebody said something one time that reminds me of the scripture that we're going to look at today. And what they said was that, look, an accident is two vehicles trying to occupy the same space at the same time. Uh, and, you know, as we take a look at the scripture we have before us today, you know, I, I kind of draw a, a parallel between the two. So let's see what the Bible says in Matthew chapter 6. And we're reading verse 24. And Jesus speaking says, no one can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. You know, so you cannot serve two things. You cannot serve two masters. And what is mammon? You know, the dictionary defines mammon as the desire for wealth, personified as an evil spirit, or you can define mammon as wealth, material, avarice, profit. You can, you know, um, everything to do with the God of riches. You, you, you know, you can define mammon as that. And so what is Jesus saying here? Because you take a look at what we have in the world today, everything about the world is tied to money. I mean, obviously, I'm here speaking and doing these things that I'm doing. I need the equipment to be able to do it, whether it's for my camera or phone or lights or whatever. All of these things have to do with being able to purchase those things, and that needs money. And of course, everything as well, we see all around us. But how do we draw the line? How do we... Um, decide and define where our loyalties lie and i think that's what jesus is definitely speaking about because he goes on in the next verse and he says therefore i say to you do not worry about your life what you will eat or what you will drink nor about your body what you will put on because all of those things are going to require money you know that is what you need money for so what is it then that Jesus is saying that you cannot serve God and mammon. You cannot serve God and riches. You've got to make up your mind where your loyalties lie. And the difference is going to be, I think, in how you, how you see money, how you see wealth. What is the purpose for that wealth? Is it to spend it on yourself or is it to spend it on others? Is it to help others? Is it to make meet other people's needs? Is it to propagate the gospel? Is it to help the, you know, the gospel reach all parts of the world? Is it to help God fulfill the, his purposes across the nations of the earth? What is the purpose for that money? And once you begin to have, you know, you, you have that definition right in your mind, then you will find out that your loyalties will lie in the right place and not in the wrong place. You will be loyal to God. You will remain loyal to God because you're thinking everything that comes to my hand is going to be used the way God wants me to use it. And then you'll be serving God. But if you, your, your focus is on getting and getting and getting and using it, um, you know, for yourself or using it to, for your own pleasures, then unknowingly, you are actually knowingly or unknowingly, <laughs> let me put it that way, you are actually serving the God of riches. So which one and who are you serving? Are you serving God with your material wealth or are you serving the God of riches? Mm. God bless you. Have a beautiful day.